One way to be cool is to not care if anyone thinks you're cool. On a related topic, minivans. Take that Toyota Sienna. Nobody's gonna buy it to impress the neighbors. But I think there's something really cool about a car that understands and embraces its purpose. Okay, Toyota does soften their minivan's responsible image with various styling flourishes, but the Sienna isn't trying to hide its vanness. Even with a big old grill, it's a box on wheels, and that nature is perfectly aligned with the needs of families. Offered in seven and eight seat configurations, the interior varies from simple to luxurious, with higher trims offering leather-trimmed second-row captain's chairs with built-in ottomans and long slide abilities. In the second and third rows, the Toyota Sienna holds advantages in head, shoulder, and hip room versus the Honda Odyssey, but legroom is a little bit tighter. So good luck shuttling Tony Robbins, Shaquille O'Neal, and the Slender Man to ice cream. It might not lead in legroom, but the Sienna does hold a slight edge in cargo capacity, with a generous 39.1 cubic feet behind the third row. To more than double that number, just lower the convenient flat folding third row. Ditch the second row seats, and you've got a flat, easily accessible 150 cubic feet to work with. For perspective, that's 25% larger than Toyota's full-size Sequoia SUV. Advantage minivan. It should be mentioned, however, that removing the second row seats is a total pain. If you only fold and slide the second row forward, cargo capacity lands around 118 cubic feet, slightly lower than the Sequoia. Elsewhere, the interior is smartly arranged with good ergonomics and inoffensive styling. The cabin also boasts countless practical touches, including two glove compartments, grippy front seat floor storage, a deep center console, four child seat latch points, plenty of cup and bottle holders, easy third row access, a handy conversation mirror for observing action out back, and available rear sunshades so you'll never have to explain that bright, fiery orb in the sky to your kids. Moving All Siennas is a strong 3.5-liter V6 matched to a competent 8-speed automatic transmission. When asked, the powertrain has more than enough juice to haul a full load of people, tow 3,500 pounds, or spin the tires if you want to drive like a jerk. And I do. Running on 87 octane, the Toyota Sienna returns nearly best-in-class fuel economy. Take note, highway efficiency drops several MPG when you add all-wheel drive. That's right, the Toyota Sienna is the only choice if you want an all-wheel drive minivan. Moving down the road, the Sienna cruises quietly and it rides well. Blind spot monitoring is available, but even without it, decent visibility allows for low stress lane changes. At the same time, low effort steering means your arms aren't going to get the tone and definition you desperately desire when parking. Save that for the cargo area. If for some reason you seek a minivan that thrills, choose a Sienna SE like our tester. Its slightly more aggressive styling, sport-tuned suspension, and 19-inch wheels delivers the kind of engaging experience minivan drivers just go wild for. And just so you know, a regular non-SE Sienna looks like this. Somewhat less sporty, but really, who cares? Price-wise, the Toyota Sienna occupies the same spectrum as the highly practical Honda Odyssey and the cleverly executed Chrysler Pacifica, which is incidentally the only minivan offered as a plug-in hybrid. For a bargain alternative, the slightly smaller Kia Sedona can be had for less than $28,000 and includes a long 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Conversely, Toyotas tend to hold their value really well over time, making the Sienna a smart long-term investment to the extent a constantly depreciating asset can be called an investment. In elemental guise, the Toyota Sienna includes three-zone automatic climate control, a backup camera, Entune infotainment with navigation, power windows, though these bad boys only open about 60% or so, and Toyota Safety Sense P, a suite of active safety technology including dynamic cruise control, automatic high beams, pre-collision warning with pedestrian detection, and lane departure warning with steering assist. 
Filling out the added cost feature set are leather, power sliding doors, rear parking sensors, a power lift gate, passive entry with push button start, a 16.4 inch rear seat entertainment system with Android device streaming capabilities, driver easy speak, which amplifies your voice for rear seat passengers. We get it, it's a complicated shot and a 360-degree camera system, though we wish Toyota offered it on lower trims. But to be fair, at least they offer it, Honda. One additional cool feature is a factory-installed auto-access seat that enables easy second-row access for passengers who need mobility assistance. I've said it before, minivans do the same job as most SUVs, just more effectively and without the rugged pretense. If anything, we should praise minivans like the Toyota Sienna for being honest and ego-free. It reliably does its job and doesn't care all that much what you think about it. In that spirit, if you'd rather be defined by what you do than what you drive, you deserve a high five. And if you also need to haul stuff and people, it might be time to test drive a minivan.